It is impossible to predict the ending of these videos. But I'm gonna try. All right, let's see what we got here. He calculated every possibility. Aw. <gasps> Are they gonna kiss? Is he okay? No. <laughs> oh, he caught on that was a video. That's, I mean, listen, if a random, you know, cute girl comes at you out of nowhere and is like, hey, can I hold your hands? Let's be honest. It's probably not real, is it? It's probably not going to be real. He clocked on very, very quickly there. See what happens here. Title. Okay. We got the meme. Okay. She's getting mad. She's not very happy about that. Look at that big, big anger vein. Big anger vein right there. Oh, she's crying. He's like, listen, listen, I'm sorry. She's a bit peeved off. He's like, hold on. Let me just whip out my car. Uh, no, never mind. He's walking away. She's distressed. She's upset. Grabbing the chair, potentially to smack him over the head with. He goes and talks to the woman. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. They're having a nice conversation. She's upset. She goes home, eats a massive tub of ice cream. Delicious. What flavor do you think? I think salted caramel. He comes back. She's upset. Going to brandish her spoon to fell him in one blow. <gasps> but then all of a sudden, he whips out the dress. He thought the dress was nice. So he went and talked to the lady to buy it for the GF. Oh. No, God. She smashed the PlayStation. Oh, that's... Oh, no, I did See, this is why healthy communication is vital in a relationship. Please, before you smash a PlayStation 4, thankfully it was just a PlayStation 4, not a PlayStation 5. Who even cares about PlayStation 4s anymore? It's always good to make sure that the guy is actually not... The guy is actually cheating on you before you actually smash the PlayStation. Well, I mean, yeah, now she has to buy him a PS5. So maybe there is a happy ending in this after all idea. I came across this many years ago as a sort of paper vase made of corrugated paper. And the hell is this? Like this? This one is made Flashlight? like a fish and it gapes its mouth when you squeeze right. its tail like that. If I put it on my head like I used to with the original vase, it turns into a kind of piss helmet like you have it, in the tropics. It, it turns into a hat. When you put it the other way up though, with these funny eyes, it does something very bizarre. So what does it go. do? Open my eyes like this. Oh. Is it? <laughs> Why? Oh. Why, why, would you, why would you want that? Who looks at this and is like, you know what I really need? I need a helmet that makes me look like um, I shouldn't be allowed anywhere near schools. Why would, you, why would anyone want that? Being British was being all about driving. Driving a German car yeah. to an Irish themed pub to a Belgian beer. Yep. And then going home, buying an Indian takeaway. That's what it's all about. To sit on a Swedish sofa in front yep. of a Japanese television to watch American shows, and all the while being suspicious of anything foreign. <laughs> He's got it. He's right. You can be me. Let's go. <laughs> Love this country. I don't know. I don't know about those foreigners. Came. Came from a different country, I don't know about him. Anyway, bloody love this Indian. <laughs> bloody love the Indian. D delicious it is. Here is the master bedroom. Any ghosts? Yes, several. Oh, no, no, no ghosts. You sure? Why? Yep. No ghosts here. Can we get some installed? Alright. You want ghosts? I want friends. I don't care if they're dead I or alive. It. It's a big I house. I knew he'd I want some. Right. I was right, Sorry, he does um, want yeah, some. No ghosts. <laughs> Hey there, any questions about the house I can answer? Excuse me, I'm in the middle of a conversation. <gasps> That's a ghost. <gasps> With no one. With Wait. Damn it, I was gonna say that, that the other guy was a ghost. Damn it. Ah, oh, I almost had it. Oh, he's gonna no. buy it. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> now he's got friends. <laughs> I'm from Brazil. You have Wi Fi there? Do you have Wi Fi in no, Brazil? No, no Wi Fi? No, no Wi-Fi. That's a different kind of connection in Brazil. Oh, oh what do you wow. have? What is it? Uh, it's called Power Light. <laughs> That's so cool. I never knew that. Wait, so what's it like in Brazil? Do you guys have school there? No way. No, we don't. <laughs> what? You don't have school? What do you mean? <laughs> we don't have schools. 
at all? No education? No education. Power light. What so do you do all day? Like do? work in the farm and stuff? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. You're lying. No. You're lying. Of course no. I'm lying. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> of course You're we have Wi-Fi in schools in Brazil. Americans are insane. How would I be here if I didn't have Wi-Fi? <laughs> Power light, bro. You. Why? And how would I speak two languages if we didn't have education? She's got a point. Well, we're stupid. Yeah, no, we know, mate. We go, bloody American education. I would say it's taken a nosedive, but I don't know if it's ever been better than this. But my God, they ca that can't be real, right? I mean, I, I don't want to believe that's real. I want to believe that people out there are smarter than I, I assume them to be, which is, you know, the average person's a bit of an idiot. I feel like I'm the average person. I'm a bit of an idiot, but come on, power light? Oh, you got power light? That's crazy. Oh my God. Excuse me, sir. Can you do me a favor and maybe uh, leave some women for the rest of us? <laughs> okay, that, that, that's a good fella. That, that's a that's a good that's a nice wholesome thing. That's a nice wholesome heckle. What's some more wholesome heckles that you can do? Some nice ones. Be like, hey, 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 you. You're looking great today. Nice haircut. Really appreciate that. Have a great day. I love seeing that. We should do more of that. If there's a video for wholesome heckles, I want to see it. Teleport between one place and another. Where would that be? Like your bed to five guys, or where would you choose? I'm sorry. Your teleport. <laughs> your, your our bed to five guys. Yeah. What? Where? Like for me, I would do my bedroom straight to a to five guys. That's to where five, I would. What's a five guys? It's like a burger place. Oh. <laughs> no, not five <laughs> guys. Right, Jesus. Right, right. Like, well, you said bed. Bed. I mean, if you're in. <laughs> Fellas, if you could teleport anywhere. Would you teleport directly into five guys? Cause I know I would. Is this a rabbit? Don't pull the rabbit's tail. Oh, look at the bunny. Don't pull his tail. That's rude. He's gonna fight you in a second. You keep doing that. He's gonna, what the, f wait. Wait, are they really that long? They lied to us. Why do they have that contractile tail? What do they do with all that tail? It just sits in there. Have rabbits been lying to us this entire time? Mr. Steal Your Girl. Aw, cute. Wait, it's a dog. It's a, I, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I love this. Aw. Oh. Just let, just focus. Listen, just focus on the pup. Focus on the big fluffiness of the pup. That fella wants to play some PlayStation. He plays some PlayStation. You've got dog. Dog is forever. What is the real reason why you are not dating right now? Everyone else is the problem. It's, it's, not, my, it's not my fault. What? <laughs> I, 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 I'm told I'm great. There's, there's no reason. I, sh what, what do you mean? <laughs> what? First of all, I look like this every day. But second of all, this happened a few weeks ago, but I'm finally ready to talk about it. My sister and I went to Dunkin' and there was this really cute guy. So well, uh, there was your first problem is you went to Dunkin' Donuts, which no one should ever do. I know, okay, sorry, Dunkin' Donuts is like fine sometimes, but it's mostly shitty, okay? I still haven't gone over the tea that I got there. It was really bad. It was like milky water. I'm still pissed off about it, all right? Let's go back next week and at the same time, and he'll be working there again. So we go back a week later, and he is there, and I get up the guest to ask for his number really awkwardly. I'm like, oh, this is awkward, but can I have your number? And he's like, yeah, and he like seems into it. So I'm like, okay, bye. And then he leaves, and my sister takes my phone, and she's like, okay, I'm going to text the number just like, hey, or something. Okay, first off, you shouldn't go up to someone who's working and ask for that number. That's awkward. I don't think that's a good approach and tactic whatsoever. Then again, I currently don't have GF, so maybe I'm wrong. I don't think, I think you should leave someone alone when they're working. Maybe, you know, find them outside of work, something like that. Also, prediction now, it's the wrong number. So she puts his number into my phone to message it, and previous messages come up. I've already texted the number. I've what? already texted this man. I had asked for his number at Dunkin' Donuts a year and a half ago. He gave me his number. I said, hey, he said, hey, back, and then he blocked my number. He, I haven't done anything, and he blocked it, and then a year and a half later, I've asked for the same man's number. What? All right, first off, how do you not remember that you already have his number? Secondly, why would he give you the number again if that was the same person that you he already blocked? And firstly, why are you asking for so many people's numbers while they're at work? Stop, just leave people alone where all they work. I don't believe that you did nothing and got blocked. 
unless the fella already had GF and GF found the text on the phone and was like, you need to block that number right now. And she was like, come on, babe. I'm just like talking to my friend there. And she's like, you need to block that number. Like block that bitch. I don't want her on your phone. Get her out of there. And she's like, oh, all right, babe, I'll, I'll block her. It's fine. She just asked me at work. I wasn't, I didn't really like her about her anyway. It's fine. And then you got blocked. And that's why you got blocked. Hmm. Did you predict the ending of any of these videos? Well, you didn't predict the ending of this video because it's now happening right now. You didn't think that was gonna happen, did you? <laughs> well, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the second channel. Subscribe to the main channel and come along to twitch.tv slash powers where we stream pretty much every single day, 4 p.m. UK time. Thank you so much for hanging out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.